The world's richest man is clearing the air about his $44 billion Twitter purchase by denying a New York Times report that he will lay off workers to avoid having to make payouts. This news coming as major changes are underway for the social media platform. Twitter's head of security and integrity says the company is taking the steps to combat the spread of hateful speech on the platform after seeing an exponential rise in racial slurs. Alex Capriello is following the latest on Elon Musk and his Twitter takeover this morning and is here with an update. Alex. Marnie, good morning to you. The big changes continue at Twitter now that Elon Musk is fully into his first full week in charge. It starts with a massive firing of the entire board of directors and naming himself as the sole member, a move he later clarified on Twitter was only going to be temporary. He's also floating some additional changes to Twitter's business model, most notably a paid subscription service for verified users to keep their blue check mark. Right now, high profile users receive a check next to their name as a way to authenticate their status and the information that they provide. But new reports indicate Twitter may begin charging anywhere from five to 20 bucks in order to keep that status. When users began to complain about this new possibility, Musk replied, we need to pay the bills somehow. Twitter cannot rely entirely on advertisers. Musk has brought in a team of savvy tech specialists to help with this transition. And interestingly here, Marnie, one venture capitalist who is helping Musk put out a poll asking about this verification process how much would you pay to be verified and get a blue check mark on Twitter? He posed to nearly 2 million users, and 82% of them said they would not pay. So clearly, Marnie, there's a lot more thinking that will have to go into this plan if Musk wants to avoid a mass exodus of people leaving the platform. Musk says that this new form of revenue is essential if he wants to continue this mission of removing all the robots, the spam accounts, and the inactive users. He says he'll release a more comprehensive plan in the coming days or weeks uh, about any sort of paid subscription service. Yeah, a lot more changes to come, I'm sure. Alex, you and I talked a little bit this week about the increase that we've seen as of late on hate speech and racism across Twitter. How are they cleaning up any of that at this point? Uh, well, actually, I looked full, through a full thread from Yoel Roth. He's Twitter's head of security and safety, and he says that the company was able to eliminate about 1,500 accounts that were widely believed to be responsible for that massive surge in hate speech and racism. He said it wasn't necessarily 1,500 separate users, but just a few bad actors who had multiple accounts and who were making that sort of uh, divisive content trend. And one other uh, interesting development I'm following is uh, something that was confirmed through Yoel Roth saying that a lot less people now have the power within Twitter HQ to flag and remove content that is deemed as offensive or racially motivated. Uh, in the past, about several hundred different people had that power to do that. Uh, and that now has been whittled down to about 15 people. He said that this is just uh, something that they need to do during this transition period to sort of minimize the risk. Mm, Musk Arnie. making some moves. All right, Alex, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.